What is going on, guys? Davion here, Triple Sevens Barbell Club, with a little bit of a different video. What I wanted to do um, was to kind of give you guys a little bit of a um, preview of what it looks like once you move into your peaking phase in the application. I know there were a few people who kind of asked me this uh, there in the past, and now that I'm here and I can see all the workouts, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a rundown on what to kind of expect as you move into that phase of the program. So with both Evolve AI now and also when I was doing Juggernaut last year, my peaking phase was the last four weeks of the training block. So I'm actually going to bring up a little bit of a screen recording here once it starts and go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a breakdown. So as you're able to see, when you look at the application, you're able to see the hypertrophy weeks, strength, strength blocks, as well as the peaking block. So for my peaking block here, it's the last four kind of weeks of this program. And if we actually take a look at the workouts themselves, um, both week 16 and week 17 are very similar uh, to kind of the weeks that I've already been doing. So the workouts are structured the same, um, nothing too much different from what I've already been experienced or uh, experiencing. Now, uh, the one thing that will change is you're going to have a lot more focus on some of those singles as well as those doubles. So as a quick example, if we look here at week 16, day one, so this is going to this will be the workout that I'll be doing tomorrow. If we take a look and we actually preview it, it's going to give us a comp squat, uh, a single rep at 455. Now, I was taking a look at some other days, uh, my deadlift. There are some days where I'm doing singles, some days where I'm doing doubles. Same thing with my bench press as well. And you're going to kind of keep on progressing um, with that. Now, the biggest change is going to happen once you get to what's called the final phase of the app. How it has it listed here is the final phase is really the last two weeks of the of, of the actual program. So at the beginning of the final phase, it's probably going to be similar to your normal workout. So when I look at final phase, uh, day one, comp squat, and then it's giving me my normal kind of suggestion for accessories, which I'll end up switching some of those out. If we move over to uh, day two of the final phase, as another example, it's just giving me my normal bench press as well. And then there'll be probably be another couple of days in here where you're going to see specifically scheduled off days. I believe it's trying to kind of um, control and regulate uh, kind of the rest in between workouts, but then also make sure that we're kind of recovering um, properly as well. Go forward one more day. It's actually going to give you a block pool. It's going to give me a block pool. It may be different for you, but we're still getting the stimulus of the deadlift. However, it's kind of changing the actual movement that you're doing somewhat. And then the bench day kind of in the final phase before it really starts to change, I believe it's kind of a single at 330. So depending upon the movement that you're doing and, 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 and how the app believes that you react best to it, you know, you may get some singles, you may get some doubles, you may have, you know, singles in the first week of the phase opposed to the second week. So it's really going to change depending upon how you react. And that's why it's really important with any AI based app to be as accurate as possible, kind of with your readiness scores, with your maxes, that way it can really build you in um, to that peaking, making sure we're tapering down so we're ready on meet date. Now, the part where it then really changes is like the week pretty much right before the app, uh, the, the week right before the meet. So day seven is pretty much all assistance work. And if we hop over to day number eight, pretty much everything within that last week is going to be squat bench deadlift days. And you may have a couple of days where you're going to be doing additional accessories as well. So for here in the final phase, day eight, you know, basically um, three, three to five sets at three reps, 295 to 320 bench press, something similar, deadlift, something similar. These are technique sets. So the weight isn't too high. The weight's probably still somewhat challenging, but it's really forcing you to uh, lock in on that technique. So you're really, really ready once it's time for the actual meet date. And that's pretty much what you would then expect for all these other days. The other thing that's really different here is going to be the specific um, recovery um, adaptive strategy days. So those are going to be, um, you know, actual, I believe the, the, the closest thing to that would be like, um, active recovery. So something that is making sure that you're getting blood flowing, uh, but you're not just not doing anything at all. And then the last day listed here is going to be the actual meet day. Now I'm going to do a separate video. That's going to go through the meet day UI. It's going to show you how it selects your attempts, how you can kind of fluctuate, uh, with that within there as well. So, Hopefully this is going to be able to give you guys a little bit more context on what to expect uh, when it comes um, time to actually, you know, go through that final peaking phase and, 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 and actually, um, you know, get to the meet. But if you guys have any specific questions you'd like me to answer, um, 
from the peaking phase or anything like that, guys, please go ahead and shoot me a comment. But outside of that, guys, have a great day. Keep on lifting.